Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to pop in quickly and introduce this video. So it's just a few meals we've had put together recently. Bit of an odd one because if you follow my channel and you've seen my post on Instagram, you may know that my father passed away last week um, on the 13th of February. So I just thought I'd pop in and say thank you for your messages of support to everyone who's checked in with me every day to make sure I'm okay. Every one of you that has taken the time to send something. I just think you're all amazing and lovely. And also thank you for giving me some time and space. I will be uploading sporadically for the next few weeks, months, I don't know. I will definitely not be disappearing, but there's a lot to organize and it is a really hard time, obviously. So I really appreciate your patience, but please stick around because I've still got so much content that I want to create. I'm just not there at the moment. So without any more waffling from me, let's go and get into the video. So I'm just about to start tonight's dinner and it's basically just gonna be a combination of this stuff. So I've got some corn pieces, I've got some soy sauce and some hoisin sauce. I've also got this soy, ginger and garlic stir fry mix. But this is only like serves two. I've got a vegetable and bean sprout stir fry. Tender stem broccoli tips, some munch too and also some medium egg noodles. So I'm basically just going to assemble it. I'm going to use this and a little bit each of these to flavour it. And we're just going to make a corn stir fry. So I've just got a little olive oil in my pan and I've popped my corn in. I've roughly chopped my tender stem, my munch too, and I've got half an onion that needs using up in the fridge. So I'm just going to mix all that together along with this bag of stir fry. And then just put some sauces and seasonings on, cook some noodles, add them in, done. So I just mixed everything in a pan together and then cooked my noodles, mix that together. And I didn't seem to have a shot of me actually plating this up, but... It looked like this basically, just with some cooked noodles stir through and it was really, really good. So for tonight's dinner, I had some chicken breast I needed to use. So I popped that in the air fryer with some Chinese seasoning on. And then I've sliced it up and put it in some packets of, you know, like the Bachelors macaroni and cheese. I've chopped up some tender stem broccoli and I've put that in there. And then I've made some garlic bread from some Tesco sub rolls. And I've just sprayed some butter fry light on them, sprinkled some garlic and onion powder on and put those in the air fryer. Just, It's just a really simple, quick dish and the chicken needed using. So I looked through the cupboards and we're going to grate some cheese on top and that's what we're having tonight. So for tonight's dinner, we've got like a little bit of a pick and mix. So these are the cheese and ham like sandwich bites that I bought or they're called cheese and ham nuggets. I've got these in Farm Foods. I've got some skinny fries and then some chicken wings. These are also from Farm Foods. And this is what the boys are having and we're just gonna go and put a film on and then Steve and I are probably gonna find something to eat a little bit later. So the majority of the next few meals have been cooked by Steve because I just haven't really been feeling like eating. So he made the boys burgers. They were really impressed that he put cheese sliced top and bottom because that's not something I usually do. He also did wedges in the air fryer and it's just burgers in a bun with a bit of Japanese mayo. So the next day was actually Valentine's Day and for breakfast we used some of these, again, farm food sausage little patties and we served them with cheese slices and I just made up a little omelette and put that in as well, a bit of ketchup and they tasted just like the double sausage and egg McMuffins that you get in McDonald's. So for our Valentine's Day meal we actually just bought a katsu curry ready meal from Sainsbury's, it was in their fresh section and it came with noodles and sauce and everything. Plus we picked up some spicy cheese triangles and some sweet corn fritters. And you can see them around the edge of the plate there. And they just had some of the katsu curry sauce over the top. And it was just a really simple, no effort kind of Valentine's meal. So for tonight's dinner I have just made the boys a little mini roast. So we've got some Richmond skinless sausages, roast potatoes, um, Yorkshire pudding peas and carrots, frozen roasties, frozen Yorkshires. That's what they've got tonight. So Bailey Jake and then Oscar's got two little mini ones that are from a different packet and Steve and I are going to possibly have some a bit later. So for another meal we made one of our new favourites which is basically using naan breads as a base of a pizza. We've done this for years but we've recently started to put feta cheese on the top along with a little bit of cheddar and tandoori chicken and then we drizzle it with like a mint yogurt dip afterwards and top it with rocket and chilies. And it's just a really nice way to make pizza. I actually did the chicken in the air fryer, I believe. And I seasoned it with loads of tandoori seasoning and garlic salt. And then just popped it in, let it go nice and sort of blackened. And then popped it on the pizzas. 
And yeah, really, really good. And it's a lot cheaper than a takeaway. And just a little shot of the pizza's all done with the rocket and the mint yogurt sauce on top. It really does make a difference, so we always make sure to add that. So for tonight's dinner, we had one of our absolute favourites, which is corned beef spaghetti. And we basically just make a bolognese sauce and add corned beef into it instead of minced meat. The boys absolutely love it. We love it. And this is what we had for our dinner this night. So in the freezer I had some Stilton left over from Christmas and I decided to make a broccoli and Stilton soup. As you can see there is cauliflower in there, there was also carrots, onion, potatoes, anything that needed using up I put in. I blitzed it all together and after this shot I actually took the Stilton back out and then I blitzed it together and put the Stilton afterwards because otherwise I thought it's just going to boil the flavour away. So I had lots of soup left over so that I could freeze some and in the end Oscar and Bailey enjoyed a lot of this soup. I didn't think they were going to like it but they really did so it didn't last as long as I'd hoped but it was really really nice. So another meal we had recently was these chicken satay skewers, again from Farm Foods, that's just where I'd last been shopping so everything seems to have come from there. Um, I just popped these on an oven tray and they went into the oven for around 6-8 to eight minutes and then I boiled some of these medium egg noodles and mixed them in with a little sachet of sauce I found in the cupboard which was like a sweet chilli and garlic. I also did some savoury rice and made up some scrambled egg kind of mixture to go with it. And I use this to turn our savoury rice into egg fried rice. So here it is plated up. We've got our noodles with our sauce, some egg fried savoury rice and our chicken satay skewers. Also covered with some sriracha. And this went down really well with the boys. They were very impressed and it was better than getting a takeaway. So for our next meal, Steve actually did a slow cooker gammon. And he put two joints of gammon into our slow cooker and used a jar of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce and then he just cooked that with some new potatoes, some carrots and some broccoli. And then with the leftover gammon the next day he made a pasta bake so he just used some of the home pride jar sauces, I think it was the creamy tomato and bacon one and he put the rest of the gammon in, some pasta and some grated cheese and the boys also had a little pot of prawns on this day with theirs because I bought some for my lunch and then I didn't really fancy them so I just did them like a little mini pot because they absolutely love prawns. So another meal we've had recently is just a chicken and halloumi wrap, surprise surprise we always seem to have this. Um, we just do the halloumi dry fried in a pan and the chicken we now do in the air fryer, it's chicken thighs with tandoori seasoning and then we've got some chilli sauce and mayo. And the last meal of this video, it was actually our wedding anniversary, so we've been married for 16 years and we ordered a takeaway from a Turkish restaurant near us. It was absolutely amazing and it actually ended up lasting us three days because there was so much of it. Um, we have recreated this at home or tried to, but it never comes out as good as the restaurant. And as always, there has to be a little cameo appearance from Hob, so we thought he'd say hello. Thank you all for watching and I will see you very, very soon.